anytime you waste time on a social media platform, lusting or taking in negativity, that is AI. That's a computer that has figured you out mentally and is forcing more content on you to get you to do what it wants you to do, which now makes you a slave. Don't get caught up in the hype, fellas. Don't get caught up in the hype. There's so much temptation out there nowadays. You go on social media, you go on the internet, there's so many beautiful women. And sometimes you take your eye off the prize, which if you're in a committed relationship, that's your woman. You more than likely have a real woman, not an Instagram model with filters and makeup and somebody that's purposefully trying to produce content that is what is called a supernormal stimuli. So a supernormal stimuli is a gross exaggeration of something that we desire as humans. They do this a lot with food and entertainment and with social media and with, and with women. This is also extremely common. You see exaggerated versions of women that either are in the top 1% or 0.1% of women on the planet or their features are just enhanced to make them look better than what they really are. And this is a huge form of distraction for a lot of young men, a lot of men in general. A lot of you guys can't show people your explore page because it's pretty much just going to be pornography. And you might have a good woman right there in front of you, but you still take the time to look at these women on social media and all over the internet. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with looking in some cases, but it's gotten to a point where it's so extreme where guys spend hours a day salivating over women that they'll never meet. You'll never speak to these women. They don't care about you. They don't know that you exist. There's a million dudes in their DMs every day and you're just one of them. You might not be in their DMs, but you're one of the guys that's just giving your attention to some unrealistic woman that in 99.9% .9 of the cases would never have any interest in you. It's something that a lot of guys do unconsciously. They don't pay attention to it. But when you really sit back and think of it and really think about it, you're being a lame. That is lame behavior. Just looking at women all day that you're never going to get with. And we're men. Like, I get it. I get it. Beautiful women are amazing to see. It's a, it's a nice treat. But when you have a woman or you're just spending too much time doing this stuff, you need to reevaluate your priorities. Because as men, we're supposed to have a duty to be accomplishing something, to be doing something of su significance, whether it's for ourselves or whether it's for our family or other people. That is the duty of a man. And unfortunately, with technology and a lot of what's going on, so many of us are just distracted with all the nonsense that we see online and these things that are not realistic. And it's not really your fault if you're doing this consistently or you're, you know, find yourself trapped in a cycle of looking at these beautiful women online. The algorithms are designed to keep you there as long as possible. They want to keep you looking. They want to keep you lusting. But you got to remember that the most valuable resource you have is not money. It's time. And so I want you to think about the amount of time that you spend looking and lusting after women that you'll never meet. If you were to actually calculate during the course of a week how much time you spent doing this, you might be disgusted with yourself. Even if it's an hour, it's an hour too much. You could spend an hour on personal development, becoming better, doing something productive with your life. But instead, a lot of these guys are spending time just looking at these fake women. Now, if you have no ambition and you have no desire to do anything good with your life, nothing great with your life, then that's fine. That's expected. You could do that. Do it all day. Have fun. But if you want something more and you want to chase a dream, you can't say that you don't have time because you do have time. You're just spending your time on the wrong thing. And with these algorithms, it's a constant battle. Even if I take a glance at a girl on social media for a second, my entire feed becomes that. Well, you have power over your feed. You can purge your feed of those things by just holding on to it and say, show me less of this. 
But if your feed is filled with half naked women, that's nothing to be proud of. Because if you wouldn't want everybody to see what you're looking at, then you're absolutely not proud of it. Look at your feed. And if you look at your feed and you see that you have way too much women and way too much sexual stimuli in your feed, then you need to do an analysis. Because what you do when nobody's looking is who you really are. Let me say that for you one more time. What you do when nobody's looking is who you really are. If you pull up your feed and you see nothing but half-naked women, then that's where your mind is at. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your feed is designed like the universe. The universe gives you more of what you focus on. So does your feed. That's why it's a genius invention. Whatever shows up on your For You page consistently shows where your mind is at. And if you're ashamed, if you can't show your woman or you can't show your family what's on your For You page, you need to reevaluate what you're spending time on. because. That algorithm is like a parasite. It just wants to suck your time. It wants to get as much time out of you as possible so that they can run ads to sell you stuff. Whatever that you watch on there and they know it's going to get your attention and keep you there, they're going to be like, all right, let's keep feeding him this. Let's keep feeding him this more and more intense, stronger. Just to keep him there as long as possible because that's the prerogative of these businesses because that's how they make money. A lot of guys nowadays, especially young men, get caught up in these vices because of aimlessness. And aimlessness is a vice. So if you don't have a direction and you don't know where you're going, you don't have any goals, then it's easy for you to get swept up in just consuming. Consuming negativity, consuming things that are of a lower vibration and do no good or no benefit for your life. If you really sit back and think about it, if this controls you, if this has that much of an influence in your life, congratulations, you are being ran by a computer. A lot of people talk about AI and they're scared of AI and what it's going to do. AI is already affecting you right now. Anytime you waste time on a social media platform, lusting or taking in negativity, that is AI. That's a computer that has figured you out mentally and is forcing more content on you to get you to do what it wants you to do, which now makes you a slave. If you really think about it, that's what it is. You are a slave to an algorithm that is created by artificial intelligence. And I know how some guy's going to be, oh, it's not that serious. And you could look at it like that too. But like I said at the beginning of this video, your most precious asset is time. Now imagine if you pass away and you get to look back on your life and see how you spent your time on both positive and negative things. And you see that you spent the majority of your time on negative things or things of no consequence, like looking at Instagram models. I'm sure you'd be disappointed. I'm so grateful that I woke up and I was able to see out of the matrix and see the trap that is being created on these social media platforms and the internet to steal my time and my attention and go away from that. Now, I use the internet as a mechanism to learn, as something that teaches me things, that gives me information that is valuable that I could then pass on to other people or use to improve my life. But it no longer has control over me. The algorithm has no control over me. And I'm hoping that you get to the point where you Recognize what it's doing. Recognize that your time is valuable and you shouldn't allow it to be stolen by a computer and take control of it and flip it. Make sure that computer is now benefiting you and giving you mental protein instead of mental junk food. In my opinion, technology is neither good or bad. It just is. It depends on what you use it for. Electricity could light up your house or it could kill you. It just depends on how you use it. And that's the same thing with technology. Men, we have a duty to do something, to make something out of our lives and to contribute to society in some way, shape or form. And if you want to go bigger than that, you can. But you'll never accomplish anything in life if you allow yourself to be controlled 
by outside sources and give away your power, which is your thoughts and what you put into your mind. That's the only power you really have. When you give that away to somebody else, you become their slave. Free your mind, be aware of what you are focusing on, and take the steps to set goals, eliminate aimlessness so that you can focus on the right things and become the person that you need to become to be valuable to society and to your family. And if you're not proud of what's on your For You page, change it. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.